Liberty Flame shortstop Dalton Britt was a virtual unknown when he arrived on campus in the fall of 2012. Despite being an all-conference player at Heralded Rose High School in Greenville, North Carolina, Britt was not heavily recruited. But thanks to a conversation with his high school classmate and current Flames volleyball player Caroline Douglas, Britt was turned on to Liberty. It was the spring of my senior year and uh, Caroline Douglas on the volleyball team was a good friend of mine growing up and I knew she loved it here. Um, and so I called her and I was like, hey Caroline, just, just tell me about Liberty and don't give me the water down, give me the full on, really what do you think? And she, she gave it to me and I was like, alright, well I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a visit there. It had nothing to do with baseball. Me and my mom literally just got in the car and drove up here. Needless to say, Britt was impressed with the campus and what it had to offer. A second visit to a camp at Liberty to showcase his skills resulted in a roster spot. And it was like 30 degrees and hail, snow, all, all the stuff that I don't really get to see in Greenville. And it was the old field. And so we took some ground balls and whatever, and then I went upstairs and Coach Toman was like, well, to be honest with you, you know, I didn't, I didn't even really know about you. I didn't know, he knew about me at state games, but he, he thought, you know, I, I was probably gonna go somewhere else. And I told him, I was like, I don't have any offers. You know, you're, you're kind of my, my last, uh, last effort here. And he offered me a spot and I signed on the beach. 127 games have passed since Britt enrolled at Liberty, and he started each and every one of them at shortstop, a position head coach Jim Toman says is of the utmost importance. Well, shortstop is the glue that sticks, you know, he, he's like the quarterback on the football team and the point guard on the basketball team. I mean, you need someone in the middle there that's going to take charge and position the infielders, and, uh, and he's pretty good at that. He's a knowledgeable baseball player, and uh, he's been really good, and he's started a lot of games for us at short, and uh, he's doing a great job for us. As Britt has matured playing the game of baseball, his perspective on the sport he loves has matured as well in order to honor the Lord, a change he credits to his father, Trent. He knows my swing better than anyone. He's seen my swing evolve since I was a kid. And when I go home, he's my training partner, he's my mentor, he's, you know, a brother in Christ. Um, and he's kind of helped me to see, you know, he's kind of helped the one who brought that vision to fruition. Uh, that, you know, I play this game for more reasons, just to, just for myself. And he's grown in that and I've grown in that. And uh, I don't think anyone has a closer relationship with their dad than, than I do. Brett does more for the Flames than just play shortstop. More times than not, he's the one in the middle of the huddle getting the team pumped up before they take the field. Uh, he does uh, you know, some different things, makes the guys laugh, and you want to you want to have a couple guys like that on the team because you don't want you know it's a tough business. Baseball is a tough sport to play, and there's a lot of failure in it. So you want to keep it light and uh, have a good. Uh, relationship between the players and let them have fun because uh, when you get too serious it can get pretty tough on you and it can turn in the wrong direction so it's always good to lighten everything up. Brent will return home this weekend as the Flames travel to Greenville, North Carolina and compete in the Keith LeClaire Classic at East Carolina University. For Game On, I'm Alan York.